In this video, we're going to be talking about how DNA can be used as a vaccine against the coronavirus. And the goal of any vaccine is to educate your body's immune system so that when it comes into contact with the real bad guy, the real pathogen, the coronavirus, it knows how to react. It already knows what kind of antibodies it needs to make. It knows what kind of features exist on the bad guy so that if a cell does get infected by it, it knows because it's seen it before and it knows exactly what to do in these situations. So we're basically educating your body through this vaccine on how to fight the bad guys. And so what researchers did in China was after they've fully sequenced the genetic material of the coronavirus. They were able to identify the specific genes within the coronavirus that coded for the actual spike proteins on the surface of the coronavirus. And specifically, they were able to figure out which genes coded for the receptor binding domain on the coronavirus itself. And the receptor binding domain is a very important part of the coronavirus because it is exposed on the outside of the virus when it's inside of you. So if we were to design antibodies, for instance, to actually stick onto this coronavirus, so we could very clearly label who is the bad guy when these things are roaming around inside you, we'll be able to have antibodies that bind onto the exact parts we want them to bind onto to number one, clearly identify the bad guy, but also number two, prevent the bad guy from being able to infect your cells because we have this physical barrier in place. And so once we have the actual genetic material that codes for the bad guy proteins of interest, we're able to create these things called DNA plasmids. And DNA is this molecule that is required by cells in order to save information that tells it how to code for things such as proteins. And most of this coronavirus is proteins. It's got the spike proteins and it has several other features of it that help it stay together that are proteins. And so it needs this genetic material. And so with this DNA plasmid, what happens is that they'll give you a shot at a CVS or a Safeway, for instance, and the DNA plasmids that do look a lot like these uh, rubber bands will go into your muscle cells and within your cells, they will begin to get translated into proteins because these pieces of genetic material have things called promoter regions on them that will attract a bunch of other cellular machinery to jump onto this genetic material and start translating it into protein. And so once you have your cells with this DNA inside of them, your cells are going to start producing not the real coronavirus, but parts of the coronavirus that will help your body's immune system recognize it for you. And so they're going to start cranking out a lot of these things called the spike proteins with the receptor binding domains on them and your cells are going to start secreting this stuff so it's in your bloodstream. And so it's not bad that you've got the actual spike proteins with the receptor binding domains in your bloodstream. It would be bad if you had the real coronavirus in your bloodstream. And because, you know, the actual coronavirus has this bad genetic payload in it that will cause your cells to die. This stuff is just literally a little part of this virus that doesn't do anything. So think of this as a castrated version of the coronavirus but it's still potent enough to be able to educate your body's immune system on how to handle the real bad guy. And so while your blood is full of these coronavirus proteins, your body's immune system, namely the B cells and T cells, are going to be able to start recognizing the features of the bad guy proteins. You're going to have your B cells that are going to be able to look at the bad guy protein, recognize it as not being a self protein not being you and start making antibodies for it so it can clearly label all these bad guy proteins and so they're going to start making these antibodies that will stick onto these things and then you'll be able to have macrophages for instance these big white blood cells come by and like eat up these proteins and you'll also have you know these antibodies preventing these proteins from really doing anything inside of the cell you also have things called T cells uh, which will be able to identify if your cells have been infected by the coronavirus, they're going to be displaying a lot of the bad guy proteins on their MHC complexes. The MHC complexes are basically windows into the outside world or the inside world. So if you are a cell and you've been infected through your MHC complex, you're able to show your T cells if you are doing good or bad things inside. And so if you've been infected on your MHC complex, you'll basically be displaying 
be displaying these bad guy proteins so when your T cells come around they're gonna say like oh you've been infected and then they're able to handle that situation appropriately and induce apoptosis which is to basically tell the infected cell die before you keep making all these viruses because you're not doing anyone any good at this point and so the key thing to make note of here is that with only the part of the virus not the whole virus itself because the virus itself is lethal but with a feature of the virus we were able to successfully educate your body's immune systems that when you come into contact with the real coronavirus the dna that we were able to give to your cells that educated them on what the real coronavirus looked like your immune system now has a really good fighting chance at being able to successfully identify and kill the coronavirus and prevent it from infecting you so this is wonderful and we are currently working on developing this one company is called Anovio and they're in San Diego and the biggest challenge that they face right now is being able to preserve this DNA long enough so that it's able to produce enough of the proteins that we need in your system so that your body has a long enough time for its immune cells to actually learn the bad guy protein features the issue is that your cells have things called DNA ACE in them. These are specific types of enzymes that will purposely degrade the DNA. So while this DNA is inside one of your cells, it's going to start getting degraded, but we don't want it to get degraded just yet because we need it to get translated enough so that we have enough of the bad guy features around in your system so that your immune system can see that these things see these things and basically learn from them so that when you see the real coronavirus you actually have a fighting shot at beating it so that's going to wrap things up for this video i hope you guys find this stuff useful please stay safe and wash your hands let me know if you have any questions and thank you all for watching